So just because no one has an immediate gun to our head doesn't mean that it's not uh, a, a systemic uh, threat to our national security, something that is dangerous and something that is dire. So if the Russians do have this capability uh, to essentially jam our satellites and stop our satellite communication from space, that will not only stop command and control from a military perspective, right. it will also stop the civilian use of satellites, which right. is how... how so and many, everything's in the cloud these is, days. Everything's in the cloud right. these days. And, and what's important is not only do the Russians uh, have this potentially, we'll see if the administration confirms it, it's one thing for an enemy to have a capability. It's another thing for us not to have the ability to defend ourselves right. against that capability. Right. And I think that's the scary thing when you start to look at this from a broader geopolitical perspective. We have the Chinese testing hypersonic missiles. We have the Iranians closer to ever, uh, closer than ever, days, weeks away from a nuclear weapon. You've got North Korea. Who knows what they're up to <laughs> on a daily basis? And they actually could have the capacity soon to hit Guam, to hit Hawaii. And then, of course, with this news on the Russians, what you're starting to see in this era of it no longer being a unipolar world, of it no longer being a world where America is the only dominant force, our competitors are developing and our enemies are developing capabilities that we cannot defend against, right. at least not yet. Right.